Five reasons why to watch Alex Ryder. Yes, folks, you read that right. Alex Ryder. It's been a hell of a minute since those who are familiar with Alex Ryder, the best selling novel series. I salute you. Reason one. Now, the first time I picked up AR was maybe in like grade five, the fifth grade, or whatever you'll call it. It was like my life a teenager. Bye. How dope does that sound? You know, it's, it's a typical book grab. So, of course, I read it, that whole damn thing, and the many series that followed. So, it's been. Yes, I think it's been like 20 years since it was originally released, the first novel, and even been a while since I've heard that name. The last, the last thing I remember from it is looking at the back of the book, the hardcover book, and just seeing the join our website stuff and showing off the titles of the series, which was like a book clickbait. It's just like YouTube, you know, you would finish a book and then, oh snap, more books, except there's no autoplay, it's just order it online and add that like 2000s websites where it's just the big fat computer with that horrible graphics but you know it was back in those days no anyway just saying that the book was fantastic so you're wondering is it good as the book well mate bruv yes it's kind of everything you wanted it to be the suspense check the drama check does every episode end on a cliffhanger hell yeah it does Plus, it's been so long, I can't remember if they even got the plot right, or even the story, or even if it's a whole different story due to the TV adaptation, and frankly, if it was bad, I would have cared, but it's actually good, and I felt like I was reading the book for the first two. When was the last time you saw a spy teen show, huh? When? Huh? Give me names, give me names, huh? Don't hit me with that Agent Cootie Banks, okay? That's a movie. That's been a long time since we had a spy teen TV show. But kind of, you know, Cootie Banks is still a G and a gem to rewrite. So to be honest, the first teen spy show that has kind of hit on Amazon's platform. Yes, Disney Plus is coming out with Artemis Fowl movie based on the incredible book series called Artemis Fowl, which I also adore as a kid and as a human being. So instead of watching Grey's Anatomy, jump on to Alex Ryder 3, The Pacing. Now this isn't that show that takes 5 seasons to get good, no, no my friend, you get hooked right on it. On the first episode, the shows always succeed is the ones that make people want more from day one. The type of shows that make people, you know, take their leave just to binge it, you know, take day off of work just to go binge your favorite series. It, it has worked on me for years in my life. That essay, that essay that was due yesterday, sorry fam, I'm enslaved, <laughs> I'm enslaved by the binge and I kind of love it. Anyway, this show delivers like that Amazon package that comes on time, just hitting all all the right buttons for story yep so the story is from the second book actually called point blank yeah had you had you tricked had you tricked you thought it was the first one huh why not the first you may ask well if you remember stormbreaker actually had a movie which hit in 2006 do you feel old yet the movie didn't hit well in the box office kind of they had a loss in money but what makes a TV show better is that it just feels right. It just feels like the story was made for, you know, a TV adaptation. The story can be more branched out in eight episodes rather than cutting it to fit a one hour and 30 minutes 2006 movie vibes. Plus, Tom, Alex's best friend at, at the season finale, to wearing a t-shirt labeled, the book was better. So, <laughs> it was kind of a joy to see that. Five ending on unanswered questions so i have unanswered questions like what happened to his parents was his parents spies why didn't he ever mention his parents i've forgotten if they even explained it in the books but it's very likely that we'd get a season two if you know there's a huge viewership on this i mean even the ratings are good for it i just feel like everybody should be watching this show because it gives you that feel good nostalgia of those that have read the book and even you know for those that are looking for a second season it'll probably follow the third book called the skeleton key with at least 13 stories to tell there are plenty of directions the series can go in because there's about 13 books in the series 
so there's there's a lot of variations that the book can take and even the, the writers can work with Horowitz who is the author he is serving as the executive producer on this show which also makes the show pretty good when the authors work on the actual TV adaptation it usually turns into a masterpiece and he quoted don't forget you know there are 12 more books so if it works as a TV show that can run and run then you know Otto will sort of be in his late 40s that's the five reasons of why to watch this show and you need to get on it right now it's a brilliant show if if you want to watch some binge something for the weekend it's eight episodes they're all like 45 minutes long it's a great watch that's it for today remember to like and subscribe and until my next video keep binging later